as many of you know, I went ahead and I lost my fingers on my left hand five years ago. And so you, you, know, you start out with this and you end up with something less. Just recently, I finally was able to go ahead and get hold of the prosthetics and it took five years to get them. That's what they look like. I mean, we're talking absolute, you know, <laughs> I mean, it really is. They really are that good. And if you haven't figured out, it is this hand. I can't, I don't have anything to bend, so I can't bend them. Basically what they do is they take your good hand, if, if you have one, they take a good hand, they make two casts of it. And by doing the two casts, it makes you know, one's a backup. They do the two casts, then they go ahead and they do a wax cast on that. They pour the wax inside, they pop them out. And then they go ahead and, you know, your fingers natu naturally tend to have a, a bend in them. And you don't want to go ahead and take a bend in, to the right and put it on the left because it'll look weird. So what you do is you go ahead and you, what they do is they take that natural bend, they heat up the wax, and then they go ahead and they ever so slightly straighten it up. Once it's straight, it's set. Then they go ahead and they make a mold of that. And then they go ahead and when they do the mold of that, then they go ahead and they do the, um, the silicone mold and the silicone mold is just a like a skin it's just the outer covering and they take that which is you know basically this and they take that and they go ahead and they, they pull it out these are extremely tough you can pull it just with the skin you can go ahead and pull and it doesn't break I mean you really have to pull hard 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 for it to snap and so they they are very durable the um, and at that point, they go ahead and they take the um, the fingers and they paint them on the inside to match your hands. So it's a it's a long process. Well, it is if you got you're missing four fingers or more. And they go ahead and they individually paint them, and they look beautiful. Up close, they look beautiful. You really can't tell. And I was at the the VA hospital, and I thought I'd go ahead and check in because they really don't get to see this stuff. Um, you know they. They go ahead and they put the order in and you know you go ahead and you get it and if they're lucky they may see you again so i went ahead and I, I made sure i went back to the va i showed them what i had how well it worked and how good it looked and by doing that they were able to see just how good these actually look and how well they function that right there makes it easier for the next vet that goes in there and if he asked about finger prosthetics they're able to go ahead and say, yeah, we actually saw some. They look beautiful, and they do make it easier, and they look great. So, you know, I basically I was trying to make it easier for the next person. These right here are, uh, once they go ahead and they, they paint them, and they let them dry, then they go ahead and they squirt silicone on the inside. You basically stick my finger in there, and it kind of shoots out the end. And once you get your finger in there, uh, they basically take it and they squirt scoop out, remember this is the hole here where the fingernail is, and they scoop it out and they go ahead and they cut up some string and they stick the string inside the silicone because silicone, they just you can't glue to it. Then they go ahead and they take the fingernails and they individually paint those. And then after those are individually painted, match your other hand, and then they go ahead and they finally take some epoxy and they put epoxy on the under, underside, they stick the fingernail on the inside and they push it down so it glues to that little fuzzy string since you can't glue to the silicone. Um, when they're done, they look just like that. And I tell you, they they really are impressive. And they they can blow people's minds. And I was at, at the other VA hospital. I had to have shoulder surgery uh, in a couple of months. And I was trying to because it's my right shoulder. And that means I'm gonna be having my left hand as my primary. And I was trying to explain to the doctor that I'm gonna have a lot of problems with it. He just didn't understand. So I just went ahead and I, I popped it off. And I, I swear the guy was about ready to scream because you just don't go ahead and pop off a finger like that. It just does not happen. So these are, since it's molded to me, and when I, I have to break the seal in order to get these off. But when I do get these off, as you can see, 
You know, it goes on and off with vacuum. I mean, I go ahead and I, I typically how I, I put these on is I go ahead and I wet my hand. They give you a, um, a skin lotion. And that skin lotion is designed to go ahead and help you slide it on. Uh, for me, it tastes, it's it, not taste, it stays uh, kind of slimy all day long. And you, know, you can actually get them to rotate and stuff like that. But if you use water, you just plug them on with water. It only takes a second. You know, wet your hand and you <laughs> right in place. No problem at all. Then you can actually go ahead and pull on these and they don't come off. They will not come off. I, I went up to the, the nurses and I said, here, pull my finger. Now, they thought I was setting them up for something else, obviously, but but if you go ahead and you, first you have to break the seal so, you know, you can get air in there and then you can slide it off and then you get yourself your prosthetics. These look absolutely real. These actually have my fingerprints. That's how good they are. Um, these two here, I, I got longer fingers on these two and or residuals and they take a little bit more to go ahead and work off when I use water. Uh, water really allows it to to stay on much better and like I said I got to work them off just a little bit make sure I keep that breaking that seal and then then I can go ahead and take it off and same with the other one um, so I can go ahead and and place these on or take them off you know like I said it it just pops right on and you can see how how realistic it looks. Um, these are the only two that I can really put on when they're somewhat dry. And although it's really hot in here right now, but to give you an idea, I mean, just that right there makes it so, you know, so the other fingers are almost not noticeable. And you know, it, even though they are yeah, a lot shorter than they look, but because it just 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 past the the joints, so you really can't bend them much. But there you go. Uh, since I had four of them, mine cost nine thousand dollars. So these fingers here, oop, these fingers, nine thousand dollars worth of fingers. They look absolutely real. They take a long time to make, and they last uh, several years. Take care of them. What you do is you go ahead and basically I take a glass and I put alcohol in it and I store these in alcohol just short of the fingernail. Otherwise you'll break down the fingernail. So there you go. That's what they look like. And if you were trying to figure out you know, what the prosthetics look like and compared to you know, others you've seen online and things like that. But that right there is the prosthetics. They look great. Won't have any problem using them. Um, they're not, they, they're nothing like your regular ones. The first thing I did, I put them on. I haven't had anything there for five years. They look like they were this long. Um, they just looked wrong. They, they, your mind just says, no, it's not how they're supposed to be because you know, you're used to the length. And when I went ahead and I put these on, even the little finger looked like it was that long. And the only time I could go ahead and get the mine to work is I just put them like this and they were the same size. It was like, okay. So it's just a mind game. You, when you haven't had something there, it's a mind game. I can also see why a lot of amputees go ahead and they, they don't wear prosthetics. And the biggest problem is, is after five years, I've learned how to use my hand quite well. There's a lot of things I can't do, but at the same time, there's a lot of things I can do. And because of that, I can do things I can do with this hand that I can't do with these on. Had I gone ahead and been able to get prosthetics right away, I would have learned how to do the prosthetics rather than what's left of the fingers. I hate the word stumps. And had I been able to use something like this, I would have been as good with these as I am with these. And that would have been a lot better. They would have looked more real and everything else. Um, so it just takes some getting used to. There, there's a lot of things. Like I said, if you can't do a, uh, everything with these that you can do with these, you tend to only use these for special occasions or, or things. 
uh, like for me videos and things like that. And this makes it easier. Um, any comments or questions, you know, go ahead and feel free to post it down below. Um, now, that's what they are and that's what they look like. So, I've had a few requests to see them, so that's it. That's, it. that's all. You know, if you have any comments, questions, leave it below. Catch you later.